Let us start with tutorial number 11 that design of FIR filter structure for FIR filter realization. Let us begin with tutorial number 11 first problem. We need to realize the FIR filter uh, whose system whose uh, h of n impulse function is given by h of n is equal to half to the power n u of n minus u of n minus 4 using direct form. So this can be written as h of n is equal to 1 half when n value equal to 0 it is 1 when n value is equal to 1 it is half when n value is equal to 2 it is 1 by 4 when n value is 3 it is 1 by 8 for all values of n equal to 4 or greater than 4 h of n is going to be 0 let us take the z transform of this h of n h of z is given by 1 plus half z to the power minus 1 1 by 4 z to the power minus 2 plus 1 by 8 z to the power minus 3 we need to realize this using direct form so we have z to the power minus 1 we'll add one more z to the power minus 1 so that we get here z to the power minus 2 next we have one more z to the power minus 1 so that we get here z to the power minus 3 so it is 1 here it is half here it is 1 by 4 here it is 1 by 8 all these needs to be added so we have summers here so one more summer here finally we have the last summer so whatever we get it is y of z for a given input x of z. So this is the direct form realization of h of n. Let us begin with the second problem of tutorial number 11. We need to realize the given impulse response h of n that is delta of n minus half delta of n minus 1 plus 1 by 4 delta of n minus 2 plus 1 by 4 delta of n minus 3 minus half delta of n minus 4 plus delta of n minus 5. Linear phase realization of this impulse response is required. This can be written as 1 minus half 1 by 4 1 by 4 minus half 1. Taking the z transform of this impulse response h of z can be written as 1 minus half z to the power minus 1 1 by 4 z to the power minus 2 1 by 4 z to the power minus 3 
minus half z to the power minus 4 plus z to the power minus 5. Let us rearrange this. 1 plus z to the power minus 5 minus half z to the power minus 1 z to the power minus 4 plus 1 by 4 z to the power minus 2 z to the power minus 3. Let us try to realize this. We have z to the power minus 1. The output of this block is going to be z to the power minus 1. We will cascade with one more block of z to the power minus 1. Then we get the output of z to the power minus 2. We want z to the power minus 2 should be added to z to the power minus 3. So therefore, we will add one more block of z to the power minus 1. So that I am going to get the output of z to the power minus 3. We need to add these blocks. Let us try to add to a summer. Output is this. And the output needs to be, output is z to the power minus 2 plus z to the power minus 3. It needs to be multiplied with the coefficient 1 by 4. Now, we need z to the power minus 4. So, let me add one more block of z to the power minus 1 so that I get an output of z to the power minus 4. Now, we need to add z to the power minus 1 to z to the power minus 4. And the output of this has to be multiplied by minus half. Further, we need to add one more block of z to the power minus 1. Output is going to be z to the power minus 5. This has to be added to 1. So, this is 1. So, I will be adding this z to the power minus 5. And output is to be multiplied by 1. All these needs to be added up. So, let us try to add all the three. So, we get here, this is added to this. So, output is going to be y of z and in for a given input x of z. This is the linear phase realization of the given impulse response. We will begin with the third problem of tutorial number 11, uh, we need to implement the given h of z using lattice structure. Let us rearrange the given h of z so that I get the constant term as 1, 1 by 2 z to the power minus 1, 1 by 8 z to the power minus 2, 1 by 8 z to the power minus 3. Now, this is the third stage because I have z to the power minus 3. So, I can call it as third stage. So, I have a3 of z is equal to 1 plus half z to the power minus 1, 1 by 8 z to the power minus 2, 1 by 8 z to the power minus 3. B3 of Z can be computed using the formula Z to the power minus 3 A3 of Z minus 1. So, I have to invert A3 of Z. 
So, I get this as z to the power minus 3 1 plus half z 1 by 8 z square 1 by 8 z cube. So, that we get here it is z to the power minus 3 1 by 2 z to the power minus 2 1 by 8 z to the power minus 1 plus 1 by 8. Now, if you look at this term, this term represents K3. So, I can write here K3 is equal to 1 by 8. Using this K3, we can move to the second stage. The second stage is M equal to 2 A2 of Z is given by A3 of Z minus K3 into B3 of Z divided by 1 minus K3 square. Let me substitute A3 of Z is 1 plus half Z to the power minus 1, 1 by 8 Z to the power minus 2 plus 1 by 8 z to the power minus 3 minus 1 by 8 is k3. I need to multiply by b3 of z that is z to the power minus 3 half z to the power minus 2 plus 1 by 8 z to the power minus 1 plus 1 by 8 divided by 1 minus 1 by 8 whole square. When I simplify this, I get this as 1 plus 0 0.492 z to the power minus 1 plus 0 0.0635 z to the power, this is plus 1, it is also z to the power 2. This is what you are going to get as a2 of, uh, sorry, this is minus 1. This is going to be minus 1. And this also is minus 2. Now we can we should get B2 of Z and B2 of Z is given by Z to the power minus 2 A2 of Z minus 1. Here I have Z to the power minus 2 1 plus 0.492 Z 0.06 z square. So, you get this as when you simplify this, you get this as z to the power minus 2 plus 0.492 z plus 0 0.0635. Now, Whatever you have got this constant term, this term is going to be K2. So, I can write this K2 as 0 0.0635. Moving on to the last stage, M equal to 1. We have B1 of Z, sorry, A1 of Z is equal to a2 of z minus k2 into b2 of z divided by 1 minus k2 square. A2 of z is given by 1 plus 0.492 z to the power minus 1 plus 0 0.0635 z to the power minus 2 minus 0 0.0635 z 
that is k2 value b2 of z is given by z to the power minus 2 plus 0.492 z to the power minus 1 plus 0 0.0635 divided by 1 minus 0 0.0635 whole square. On simplification, we get this as 1 plus 0.4628 z to the power minus 1 and we can get b1 of z is given by z to the power minus 1 a1 of z to the power minus 1. So, this is z to the power minus 1 1 plus 0.4628 z to power 1. So, I have this as z to the power minus 1 0.4628. Now, from this we can get this constant term will give me k1 and that is equal to 0.4628. Now, let us try to realize the lattice structure. So, the lattice structure is given by so, we have three summers because it is z to the power minus 3. Similarly, this is the input x of z. And here we have a delay z to the power minus 1. Here also we have a delay. So that is a block is z to the power minus 1. Then we have one more block here that is z to the power minus 1. So here in the lattice structure, we need to get from here 1 and from here it goes to this sum. Similarly, from here it goes here, from this it goes here. And the lastly, we have this and this will go here and the output is going to be y of z. Now, the three constant values, whatever we have got here, it has to be multiplied here. That is, k1 is 0.4628 and here we have k2. k2 is 0 0.0635 and then we have k3 here, it is 0.125. This is the lattice form realization of the given FIR, the given the H of Z, 8 plus 4, 4 Z to the power minus 1 plus Z to the power minus 2 plus Z to the power minus 3.